Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to share something with you today that is about me personally, and that is that I have lost 10 kilos of weight, which is around 22 pounds of weight, which is a significant amount of weight for me to lose because I didn't really need to be losing any additional weight. I've not been trying to lose weight whatsoever because I was already slim and I'm still slim now. If anything, gaining some additional weight would actually be a good thing for me. So why did this happen? Some of the vegans are probably gonna think, well, it's due to him switching to a carnivore diet, it's messing him up because meat isn't good for him or anyone whatsoever, or all these other animal foods that he'd been eating. And no, it's not due to the dietary switch, at least the whole 10 kilograms that I've lost. I actually lost around eight kilos of that total 10 kilos of weight that I lost due to a vegan diet that I was on for around six years. And it's very simple as to why. So the reason why I ended up quitting the vegan diet was for around three months before I ended, my digestion got completely messed up, my energy levels were all over the show, and I was not feeling good, which it completely destroyed my energy levels. I just had full on fatigue, my emotions were all over the show, my sleep was really bad, and I was just not functioning optimal at all. And I just kept having to rest and rest and rest and rest and rest and take it easy, so I didn't have it within my body to work out whatsoever with calisthenics, which is a type of body weight training, which I transformed my body with. And if you haven't seen my one year transformation video, we end up gaining around 10 kilos of muscle mass and going from very weak, skinny and frail, as you can see here, to very ripped and muscular. You can click the link for that video up above. It has almost five million views. I recommend that you haven't watched it, that you go and check it out now. So yeah, due to the vegan diet messing me up, I just couldn't work out consistently. And I am someone that is very aware, a lot of people are just very lazy and they choose just not to work out. Some people don't self-motivate themselves, a lot of people aren't disciplined whatsoever, but that's not something that I've had an issue with in the past. But when I got to a point where it's not good for me to work out because my health deteriorated so much due to that malnourishing, unsustainable vegan diet, yeah, the thing that was inevitable was that I was gonna lose some muscle mass because if you're not using your muscle, you're going to lose your muscle. That is it at the end of the day. And when I got to my peak of around 70 kilograms, it was just not sustainable to keep that on because when you're also not working out on a regular basis, you can't eat as many calories so then, due to being in a calorie deficit, you also are going to lose weight as well. And then what ended up happening is that once I switched my diet up to more of a carnivore-based diet, this type of diet, what it does is it strips water weight off because you're not consuming loads of carbohydrate, which hydrates the body a lot. So it strips some additional water weight off and then I dropped to around 60 kilograms. And I prefer that this didn't happen whatsoever, but when I also made the dietary switch, I have been in this healing phase of recovering from all of the negative health issues and symptoms that are inducing me on a vegan diet. So I've still not been able to work out consistently. And now I've also got to the point where I am working out, you could say, on a regular basis, but I'm doing mostly Ashtanga yoga. Which my girlfriend's guiding me through because she's been teaching people for around 15 years with Ashtanga yoga, and she's been doing yoga for around 20 years, so she's an amazing person to be coached by with that. And yes, yoga, if done in a specific way where it is very intense, you can definitely gain muscle mass. But for me, that is not my intention whatsoever. I am trying to optimize my flexibility and mobility because I have a lot of tightness throughout my muscles from all the intense training that I've done for a very long period of time prior to me stopping working out with calisthenics. So yeah. 
This is not the goal at the moment, but I will be very, very soon getting back into calisthenics and building my body back up. And I have no issues with being on this new diet and eating lots of calories. As long as I am consciously trying to eat as many calories as I possibly can, I can eat loads and loads and loads in a day. And I know once I start working out consistently on the type of diet that I eat with loads of animal foods in, I believe that I will get above my maximum weight, which was 70 kilos. So I'll be able to gain more muscle mass than I've ever had in my whole entire life. And look, I'm definitely not wasting away. You can still see that I have muscle. There is a little bit of muscle atrophy, but yeah, look, still got separation going on. I've got less water weight and less body fat percentage. So it does make me look more ripped for sure. But I'm not a person that is trying to be as ripped as possible. Unlike someone that is like a professional bodybuilder that will do a cutting diet where they're doing such severe calorie restriction weeks and weeks and weeks prior to a competition that they're going in. So they can end up with skin and fat. So it's just like paper, paper thin, even way lower than what I have. But I'm not someone that does competing whatsoever. And being too low of a body fat percentage is not healthy for us, at least long term. So yeah, that is what is going on with me and my weight. I'm not concerned about this at all because when you're someone that's worked out, you have what is known as muscle memory. So compared to someone, say if I had two people that were me, for example, one that had never worked out before whatsoever, and then you have me who's worked out a lot in the past. Because I have past experience of working out, I have that muscle memory, so I would gain muscle way faster than the version of myself that is never worked out. And I know that this diet that I'm on just helps optimize hormone production, because on a vegan diet, you're not getting any dietary cholesterol. And cholesterol, when you are consuming it, is gonna help optimize all hormones that are produced within the body because it is the catalyst for all other hormones to be produced within the body as it shows in this chart. And then there's so many other things such as way more amino acids and minerals and other nutrients to help optimize hormone production and muscle growth, also help improve sports performance, reduce the recovery time after intense training and a whole host of other benefits as well. So it's gonna be amazing to see what type of results that I can get over a long period of time on my new diet and then compare myself to and when I was at my peak because I'm sure I can surpass what I did on that vegan diet. Yes, I managed to gain a lot of muscle but it just was not sustainable long term and I ended up losing the majority of it. But what is quite interesting, if you compare how I looked at 60 kilos before I started working out and transforming my body, I look like I have no muscle mass whatsoever. I can't take my top off and show you what I look like now because YouTube doesn't like people taking the tops off. I talk about that more in a video. If you haven't seen that, click the link for it up above, but I can't do it for many different reasons that I explain in that video. But yeah, I'm telling you, if you wanna know how I looked, just go and look at the last video of where I didn't have a top on because I was around 62 kilograms at that time. And if you compare it to when I was 60 kilos with no muscle whatsoever, it's interesting that, yeah, there's such a significant difference. And I know what my body looks like now. And it's just that when I had pretty much no muscle mass, I was a skinny fat person. So I look like I don't have excess body fat, but as so many skinny fat people out there, they have such severe muscle atrophy, so it makes them look like they're slim, but the fact is they are skinny fat. So what I did was when I transformed my body, I ended up losing the excess fat when I was a skinny fat person and ended up gaining a lot of muscle mass and keeping my body fat percentage at a very low percentage. So yeah, I thought I'd just explain that because some people might want to know about that. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to leave your questions down below and don't forget to share this with others and don't forget to subscribe as well to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your amazing day. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.